And what an exciting case this is. How has <laughs> entertainment crossed into mainstream headlines? You know, I'm so excited to be speaking to you because I have been following this so closely for the last couple of years and it's finally made it to the courts. Well, well exactly. The juicy details. And it's extraordinary. Yeah. As you say, it's been going on for a couple of years. We're already three million up in, in, in court in legal costs already. Yeah. And this is extraordinary thing. I do prefer this case. If we're going to have a celebi case, normally it involves some horrific crime that's been committed. Um, Yes. Or it's been in the case, like we say, Amber Heard and, and uh, Johnny Depp, where people, two people who were both troubled and damaged just like, absolutely being horrible to each other in their marriage, and it's all just uncomfortable and nasty, and you don't really want to know about it. This is rather more edifying because it's it's not quite such a serious story. It's about someone giving away stories to the newspaper, or did they or did they not? So just to clarify, this involves Colleen Rooney and Rebecca Vardy, both married to footballers, otherwise we wouldn't know who the hell they were. Let's clarify that. Them wearing clothes is of no interest to me whatsoever, just who they're married to. Colleen Rooney, at the story always kept appearing about her in the media um, she couldn't work out who's giving who's giving these stories to the media she had an Instagram account she put made it private so only certain people could see it she narrowed it down and then she wrote this amazing dun, 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 who done it uh, Instagram <laughs> message some couple of years ago now and it revealed that the only person who could have seen a story that ended up in the in a newspaper was dun, 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 Rebecca Vardy wife of Jamie Vardy one of her husband's teammates in England and um, Rebecca Vardy is suing her for libel saying it wasn't her yeah, and this is what's so interesting, is that the way in which it was done, this case would not exist if social media didn't. And this is why I know we see it as a bit of a pantomime and, oh, it's these glamorous footballers' wives types just having a spat and throwing their, you know, toys out of their pram. But actually, this is why entertainment journalism is so fascinating, because it is just part of a much bigger problem. Yeah. We're talking really about, let's firstly say, the representation of two women. How can two strong, intelligent women be arguing about something like a Twitter spat? It seems so ridiculous how, how sort of women are being viewed. What are they doing, you know, for women? Which is why I think they're both, they've both been advised multiple times to settle out of yeah. court. I mean, I think they're absolutely insane to be taking this because we, yeah, I mean, we, we look, the thing is, Rebecca Vardy's come out of this badly so far because Colleen's going, well, I think it was your, she said, crucially, it was Rebecca Vardy's account, her Instagram account, and now yeah. there has been some evidence that it, you know, it was, it could have been her agent that was involved, whose phone has mysteriously ended up at the bottom of the North Sea. You know how this happens to everyone. Yeah. Um, but, but so far we've seen, you know, the, the, the personal WhatsApp messages of Rebecca Vardy. I don't think many people's personal whatsapp messages about um you know their their husbands husbands mates wives would actually stand up to much scrutiny in open court but she's basically saying she would never ever you know pass on a story like this daily star front page says it beautifully wags at war we think we've got this right but it's hard to keep up they say i tried to leak story about footballer says footballer's wife who denies leaking stories on footballer's wife and this is because she has actually admitted trying to leak a story about a uh, footballer danny drinkwater um mm. and but then saying that she would never have leaked a story about another footballer's wife doesn't really quite add up does it it doesn't add up, and that's why yesterday in court, Colleen's lawyer um, did go quite hard on Rebecca Vardy, accusing her of lying under oath. And it's just very interesting um, also that um, her former publicist, Caroline Watts' phone fell into the sea, a laptop's broken, and, you know, an IT genius couldn't hack the password. Such it's, bad it's luck, very, such you bad know, luck. It, it, it's, it's terrible luck and, and incredibly, one might say, allegedly convenient. But what, what I think beyond the pantomime, I think it does need to be said that while people are finding this incredibly entertaining, there is um, two women who feel incredibly betrayed and incredibly hurt. And what happened yesterday in court when Rebecca Vardy did break down in tears, she seemed incredibly distressed when she talked about the impact on her children. And, you know, there were some horrific tweets going around about, you know, people wanting to hurt her children yeah. and that's why this is a serious case it is why it's you know it's not just pantomime there are you know horrific things being said yeah. and this is you know why she's doing for there's not there's not just hurt feelings again this this affected her ability you know look you're, you're a wag you're, you're getting money as an influencer she was Rebecca Vardy was on I'm a celebrity I thought she was a rather good character on that and yeah. so um actually you know this impacts your ability to make money I mean not that you imagine really need any but I don't think we should say oh it doesn't matter you've got a rich husband it doesn't matter there is an impact on her character if she has genuinely not leaked this maybe she talked about it we often talk about doing horrible things we don't necessarily do them if she didn't 
threatened yeah. to do it and she is being, has been wronged, then, you know, she has a fair case. One can only wonder what advice the lawyers have privately given, but I was discussing this on the, the talk last night uh, on, on Talk TV and with, with my colleagues there, and you just think... Are the lawyers, they're not on a no win, no fee, are they? They know these women have both got huge <laughs> amounts of money. Their husbands have got deep pockets and so have they. Um, they're quite happy to take the money. I doubt they're saying to both of them, you're crazy. You shouldn't be bringing this case because they are, we're raking it in. Well, initially they did actually try multiple times to settle out of court. They went through multiple rounds of mediation. But these are two, actually, if we're talking about representation of women in the media, these are very headstrong, intelligent women. They know their stuff. They've been studying. Can, I, can I pick you up on that? We never talk yes, about men being do. headstrong. Very, very good point. I think it's because we, we like to think, especially particularly of wags, oh, it's just an airhead who wants yeah. to marry a rich man. And they just sort of a bit of arm candy. Whereas Colleen actually did, you know, she was famous when she was 15. She was thrown into fame when she was dating Wayne Rooney. And she did actually pursue her own career and make her own money. Maybe not on the level of, of Wayne Rooney's career, but she but did She only made own. the money on being, who, being married to him, though. I have to say, listen, I am never going to criticise a woman for managing to marry a rich man. I just failed to do it myself, but all credit to them. Um